Welcome back. In our previous video, you saw how the P&L statement was populated with numbers through some if. A valid question is the following. What if, after we wrote the sum if formula, there had been a different result for net income? The count if function is a good way to test your work. You can use the function in order to check whether a specific value is contained in a range of cells. Why is this helpful? Well, imagine that for some reason, formatting, typo, or mechanical error, a value you use as a criterion is not recognized in a range. The best way to deal with this problem is to quickly find which value is not recognized within the range. For the purposes of this exercise, let's suppose that there was a discrepancy between the values within our P&L sheet and the values in the database. Let's change this value in the database. As you can see, our check in the P&L sheet will immediately show that there is an error. How do we find the problem? As we said, we will use the COUNTIF function. The range will be our P&L statement. And it has to be fixed. The criteria will be all the mapping lines that don't need to be fixed. By doing this, we want to verify that all the mapping lines are considered within the P&L. When the result is 1, it means that Excel counted that the line was included in the range once. When the result is 0, it means that the line was absent from the P&L range. Let's copy the function to the bottom and check where the 0 is. OK, here it is. Copying the right classification word, recharges, will solve the issue. This is one of the methods which can help you double check your work in case there is a problem when using formulas with conditions. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, just drop me a line.